Night Noises, written by Mem Fox. Lily Lacerby lived in an old cottage in the hills. Her hair was as wispy as cobwebs in ceilings. Her bones were as creaky as floorboards at midnight. Her only companion was a fat old dog called Butch Aggie. People who lived nearby said Lily was nearly 90, but they were only guessing. One wild winter's evening, as Lily Lacerby sat by a fire, snug and warm, she drifted off to sleep and began to dream. Butch Aggie dozed at her feet. Outside, clouds raced along the sky, playing hide-and-seek with the moon. Wind and rain rattled at the windows, and trees banged against the roof. Somewhere in the distance, car doors opened and closed softly. Click, clack. Butch Aggie listened. But Lily Lacerby kept on dreaming. Feet tiptoed up the garden path. Crunch, crunch. Butch Aggie cocked her head. But Lily Lacerby went on dreaming. Voices whispered in bushes. Butch Aggie bristled. But Lily Lacerby went on dreaming. Eyes peeped through keyholes. Butch Aggie's throat rumbled. But Lily Lacerby went on dreaming. Hands tried to turn doorknobs. Rattle, rattle. Butch Aggie bared her teeth. But Lily Lacerby went on dreaming. Knuckles knocked on door frames. Knock, knock, knock. But Jaggy leapt up growling. Arr! But Lily Lacerby went on dreaming. Fists beat upon doors and voices shattered at windows. Hey, hello! Bang, bang, bang. But Jaggy barked and barked. Roof, roof! Lily Lacerby woke up with a start. Who is it? she called. Who is it on a night like this? It's only us, little scene, little scene. Creak, went Lily Lacerby's knees as she got to her feet. Snick, went the bolts on the door. Surprise, happy birthday, where's the toilet? And in came her two sons, her three daughters, her 14 grandchildren, and 35 great-grandchildren. Surprise, for she's a jolly good granny. Her great-great-grandchild, Emily, aged four and a half, and her 47 friends. Happy birthday! Are you really 90, Granny? whispered Emily, aged four and a half. Lily Lacerby held her hand and smiled. Inside, I'm only four and a half, just like you. But don't tell anyone. The End